Hello Robloxians, and welcome to this week's Roblox Recap, a weekly series that will feature videos covering Roblox updates, announcements, and more that happen each week. This week, we'll be taking a look at the highlights from the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards that happened this past weekend, some news regarding the 2021 Egg Hunt, a new Game Jam type event for developers to participate in and win some exclusive prizes, and so much more. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first story for the week has to do with the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards. Last Saturday, Roblox put on the Bloxy Show, which showcased the best creators, videos, and experiences on the platform of 2020. This year featured tons of awards, an exclusive musical performance by Royal Blood, and an incredible trip through the Roblox Metaverse, taking us through different Roblox games as the awards were handed out. If you missed the show, it will be playing in-game every other hour through April 6th. I will leave the link to the Bloxy Awards game in the description below. You can also watch the entire show on my YouTube channel. I will leave the link to my live stream VOD in the description below as well. However, if you don't want to watch the entire show and just want to know the winners of the awards, I'm here to give you all of the highlights. Now, if you haven't watched the full show and don't want any spoilers, go ahead and experience the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards show for yourself. Let's go over this year's winners. The award for Best Showcase went to Grand Haven Rotterdam. The award for Most Immersive Experience went to World Zero. The award for Best Use of Tech went to Tank Warfare. The award for Sleeper Hit went to Super Doomspire. The award for Best Live Event went to RB Battles. The award for Best New Game went to Brookhaven. The award for Best Game Trailer went to Tower Defense Simulator. The award for Best Video Content Creator went to Creekcraft. The award for Video of the Year went to FGTV's Psycho Pig Music Video. The award for Most Educational Game went to Lua Learning. The award for Xbox Game of the Year went to Phantom Forces. The award for Mobile Game of the Year went to Super Golf. The award for Creator of the Year went to Minitoon. The award for Game of the Year went to Piggy. The Builderman Award of Excellence went to Piggy. Now these following awards and winners were announced at a later date. The award for Best Incubator Slash Accelerator Game went to Tank Warfare. The awards for Most Concurrence, Most Visits, and Highest Total 2020 Playtime went to Adopt Me. The award for Best International Hit went to Prison Life. The award for Most Popular UGC Item went to Maple Sticks Shadowed Head. The award for Most Joined Roblox Group went to Albert Stuff's The Flamingo Fan Club. The award for Most Installed Plugin went to X6X's Moon Animator. And last but not least, the award for Problem Solver went to Colbert2677. Now if you missed any of the action from the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards, I will leave a link to my Twitter highlight thread in the description below. What did you think of this year's show? Let me know in the comments below. Up next, I've got some information regarding this year's Egg Hunt. Now almost every year since 2008, Roblox has held an event called the Egg Hunt, where you go around either a single Roblox game or numerous Roblox games and hunt for virtual eggs to wear on your avatar. Now we usually get some sort of information regarding the Egg Hunt during the Bloxy Awards every year, but this year, we didn't get anything. No trailer, no dates, nothing. Now this has left many people confused as to whether or not there is going to be an Egg Hunt this year or not, especially since Easter is tomorrow as of this video being uploaded. However, there has been some news going around relating to an event that is presumably replacing the Egg Hunt. That event is called the Metaverse Champions. Now unfortunately, not much is 100% confirmed about this event, but there were some avatar bundles that were recently uploaded to the avatar shop relating to this event. The bundles I'm talking about are on screen now. If we take a look at the descriptions of the bundles, they seem to all feature a similar phrase. All four of the bundles mention collecting specific packages or crates, which relate to each bundle. This kind of sounds similar to an egg hunt type event, where you go into a certain Roblox game and look for an item. In this case, some sort of package or crate that may contain something in them. Now, it is important to keep in mind that it is not 100% confirmed that the Metaverse Champions event will be replacing the egg hunt, but there is a good chance that it will be based on some leaks and other information going around. Keep in mind that leaks are not always 100% accurate. When I do gain more information about this Metaverse Champions event, I will be sure to update you on my social media and in a future recap video. This next story has to do with an event for Roblox developers. Roblox is hosting the first ever Game Jam Challenge of 2021. This year, they're calling it a Game Quest. The Game Quest Challenge will last four weeks and will have three mini challenges accompanied by a main challenge at the end. Here's a guide to how this Game Quest Challenge will work. A new quest will be released each Saturday starting on April 3rd with the winners being announced each following Friday. 
The first mini challenge begins today, April 3rd, at 11 a.m. PDT. You will then have a little over a day to complete it and submit it by April 4th at 1 p.m. PDT. The winners of the first mini challenge will then be announced on April 9th at 1 p.m. PDT. The second mini challenge will begin on April 10th at 11 a.m. PDT. The submission will be due the following day, April 11th at 1 p.m. PDT. The winners of the second mini challenge will then be announced on April 16th at 1 p.m. PDT. The third mini challenge will begin on April 17th at 11 a.m. PDT. The submission will be due the following day, April 18th at 1 p.m. PDT. The winners of this third and last mini challenge will then be announced on April 23rd at 1 p.m. PDT. The final winners of all the mini challenges will also be featured at the same time. All winners of these mini challenges will receive a Roblox gift card for around $25 to $45. There will also be one final winner of a $55 gift card. Now the main challenge will begin on April 24th at 11 a.m. PDT. The submissions will be due a few days later on April 26th at 1 p.m. PDT. The winners of this main challenge will be announced around three to four weeks later after the submission date and will be given some exclusive IRL swag based on what place you get in. The prizes will be revealed today when the first mini challenge is revealed at 11 a.m. PDT. You can view the full details on this game quest event along with the rules and additional information via the developer form announcement, which I will link in the description below. I will continue to keep you updated each week on the winners of these challenges. On the topic of development, Roblox has released a brand new feature within Roblox Studio called UI Stroke. UI Stroke is a new instance that can be parented to GUI objects to apply an outline around them. A few examples of this in effect are on screen now. Now this is currently only available right now as a beta feature within Roblox Studio. So if you'd like to try it out for yourself, you can enable it within the beta features tab. If you'd like to learn more about the UI Stroke instance, I will leave the link to the developer form announcement in the description below. Up next, the website where you can view all of the Roblox toys has received a complete design overhaul. On screen now are what some of the new pages look like, including the home page, the page to view a checklist of all the Roblox toys, and the retailers where you can buy them. If you would like to check out this brand new website, I will leave the link in the description below. If you're an educator or use Roblox to teach different subjects, listen up. Roblox has recently announced their full list of featured educators for 2021. This list of people includes YouTube channels, tutorials, and games that can all be helpful in teaching various educational topics. Some of the feature educators include learning new languages, teaching how to code on Roblox, and even an obby that requires you to solve math problems while testing your parkour skills. If you would like to view the full list of featured educators for 2021, I will leave the link in the description below. This next story has to do with some analytics regarding the monthly active user count for Roblox in March 2021. Courtesy of Artrack, Roblox had an estimated 192 million monthly active users during the month of March which is actually a drop of 7 million from February 2021, where they had 199 million. However, this drop in lower numbers are expected as some pandemic restrictions are slowly lifting. If you would like to read the full article going into details about these metrics, I will leave the link to Artrack's website in the description below. And now it's time for the final story of the week. The Roblox gift card virtual items and their corresponding stores for April 2021 are now available. When you buy a gift card from select retailers, you are able to get a free virtual item in return along with the Roblox credit you purchased. If you want to view all of this month's items, I'll leave the link to the Roblox gift cards website in the description below. Before the video ends, I want to quickly shout out the current members of my YouTube channel. Nathan Delmo 23, Tanner Official, Sethers 10, DJ Wolf, Jeffrey, Zakra, and Drama. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. If you would like a shout out in the next video, as well as access to a bunch of awesome perks listed on screen, just go ahead and click the join button next to the subscribe button below this video to learn more. But that is going to include it for this week's edition of the Bloxy News Roblox Recap. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or useful, make sure to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe with notifications on to never miss out on the latest and the greatest Roblox news. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Good power, Bloxians.